Hello everyone, welcome to FedScoop TV. My name is Greg Otto and we're here at the 2016 Red Hat Government Symposium and I'm talking with Vincent Swedepan, a program manager with DHS's Science and Technology Office. Vincent, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, open source, there's been a lot of progress this administration. Kind of talk to me about how you've seen it move throughout this administration, where you see it going in the next one. So, I mean, the easiest one to answer is in August, right? So you're looking at um, OMB Memorandum Directive 16-21. Uh, okay. This is this the idea that we actually are trying to achieve uh, a federal code policy, a source code policy, where you're looking at, um, we understand, realize that we do have open source technology, custom development, and even regular proprietary software that we would use. Right. Um, this idea of understanding $6 billion goes into that software every year. Um, and pushing more and more so that we can share code, whether it's custom code, um, having 20% of all custom code needing to be open source. Um, you're seeing that this realization of we have a lot of information, we're working great towards IT modernization and building our own uh, using software that's there, whether it's open source or custom development or proprietary. Um, but the idea that we're going to start to share, have transparency, and build efficiencies, um, it's great for this administration. And going to the next one, I definitely am looking to see, you know, what's going to result. Are people actually going to push to do that 20%, uh, making that available right. for three years? Um, can we start to share information? Because you'll see me harp um, many times talking about, you know, we have great ideas and great work that's being done, but they're not sharing. It's all being siloed, right? right. And so having this ability to, whether it's a marketplace, um, whether, you know, we can give that out to the community and get feedback more quickly, uh, that's where you're going to see, you know, the government advance and, and leverage the open source community. Okay. So, Cybersecurity, top of mind. How do you see open source helping federal agencies meet their cybersecurity mission? So open source uh, in cybersecurity is, has it's been a thing for some time. Okay. Right? So if you think about everything from Snort for intrusion detection systems, right. Wireshark, um, and, and even Metasploit framework as we use that, um, we use these for our security tools. Um, what I will note though is that when, when we think about the classical you know, code libraries or um, keeping up to date with just open source technology that we use, enterprise grade hopefully um, in that regard and sustainability, um, we have to think about how we can not only use them but secure them. So how do we look at just using open source technology and sharing that information? What you're going to see for security is that uh, there's a, uh, a school of thought right, okay. around if I have you know, a custom development and I make it open source, um, you have to be selective, of course. But the idea that I can share it out with the community and they're going to actually find bugs quickly, uh, and I as an enterprise organization would be able to respond, right? be able to uh, fix those bugs, fix those uh, functionalities that may be deficient, um, but I have the open source community helping me at the same time. So it's great to see that there's security tools out there and there's a use of having open source software that there's a benefit from the, the security community that can support me. Okay, interesting. So same type of question, but more in the frame of IT modernization. IT modernization big deal coming from OMB. How do you see open source helping federal agencies move away from legacy IT? Yeah, so uh, the funny part is that IT modernization is actually led by the open source community. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily in the federal government, but as we look at like, you know, big data, Hadoop, um, using Spark, right. or even like databases, so like uh, MongoDB, uh, MySQL, you're seeing that how we deal with large sets of, of heterogeneous data, um, we're actually leveraging what open source has to offer today. So when we think about, you know, are we going to move towards, you know, more, more and more open source, it, they're going to pull us if we don't go towards it. Right. So right. it's definitely okay. a great opportunity. Interesting. So what are the other areas where open source can help federal agencies? Is it in collaboration? Is it in mobility? Is it in shipping? services faster to customers where do you where do you come across there is it all three of them or yeah so so definitely the the one that's most prominent to folks as they'll see is um DevOps, right? Okay. So the ability to do you know rapid development, leverage uh, co code libraries that are maintained by the open source community, um, doing 
uh, you know, just rapid development as a whole and testing and having that uh, transparency, ach achieving that efficiency. I mean, that's something that uh, is comes to mind. But the other one I'll say besides DevOps is going to be when you think about open source community, um, DHS s and currently has a mobile application security uh, R&D program, right. um, where we are going to be funding when you talk about development of mobile applications. Um, these platforms, whether it's proprietary or open, uh, open source, um, we are going to be funding uh, how you can look at integrating security throughout the life cycle. So, okay. right, and this is something that we want to make available to the community, whether it's people are going to be uh, purchasing proprietary information or it's open source and we all benefit as a whole. Um, so definitely I, I'd say look forward to that if you have reach out to myself. Uh, we'll be looking to award as early as May timeframe okay. uh, coming up. So you know industry is participating, the research community is participating, but having not only open source tools available but you're talking about you know government in this regard uh, putting funds towards enabling right. security of open source technology. Right. All right, Vincent, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your insight. All right, thank you. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube channel, and for more information, check out fedscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.